we sat down with Jay-Z to talk about his life, his involvement with hip-hop culture, some of his influences, his latest project, and his future in the music industry. Well, I started the, the Blueprint series based on um, the uh, soul samples and the music that I heard growing up, you know, in my household. And, uh, it, you know, those memories and the things that it, that it invoked. And, um, you know, it was an album that I had done with uh, Kanye um, West and Just Blaze pretty much when they were uh, starting out. And um, we put together a timeless piece of music. And um, then I did the Blueprint 2, which was all my influences. You know, I'm influenced by all different types of music. So, you know, I had rock influences. It had the uh, Lenny Kravitz song on there, R&B. It had Faith Evans. It was just, you know, so you know, it was a double album. You know, because I'm, a, I just believe in good music and bad music. You know, I don't believe in uh, the separation of music. And you know, people have come to expect excellence from those albums because of what the Blueprint series represent. Um, and for this one, I feel like this, this. My direction for it is to set the blueprint for the next generation of artists because we are becoming this generation of artists. We're becoming the artists that we looked up to. You know, the Marvin Gaye's and the Frank Sinatra's and all the uh, incredible people that we grew up idolizing. You know, we're becoming those people. So I wanted this album to pretty much set the tone for the next generation and that's why DOA was the lead single because it's harsh it's like a it's not a diss record it's more of a record uh, the challenge people not to rest on their laurels and to push the envelope creatively so I, you know that pretty much set the tone of you know where we where we're gonna go I mean in order for hip-hop to you know evolve we have to keep pushing the envelope creatively and not rely on gimmicks and things this you know, hot for a minute. I mean, that's cool. You know, I love some of those songs, you know, that people make um, or, ha or have made with auto-tune, but when everyone is doing it, it's time to move on. And that's, you know, pretty much where, um, you know, I started out. So now from there, you know, now the conversation has begun. You know, now we can go on and, you know, get deeper into this and, you know, hopefully uh, spark the mind, like Tupac said, of the next generation or the next uh, trilogy of blueprints you know the blueprint one was my parents blueprint two was my musical influence and now this blueprint is the blueprint for the next generation so I try to give them their own identity and um, it'd be difficult um, to compare them it's almost like well I compare albums so it's really not difficult it's almost like a, a you know a hypocrisy to say you can't compare me like kids but you know that first blueprint is very difficult because it's the it's the one that people um, heard initially. Um, I got the second one beat. I got that one beat. You know, no problem. So, you know, I'll get I'll try to get as close to that first one as possible. But that one's gonna be very difficult to top. I mean, there's only been there's only two albums for me, in my opinion, of all albums that I made. There's those are two best albums I made was uh. Reasonable Doubt number one for me, and then Blueprint number two. So that's very difficult to beat. Usually, things usually for me at the end, for some strange reason, um, I get the best songs. Um, I made PSA from the Black album as it was going to the going to mastering. I made uh, Give It to Me from uh, the Dynasty when um, I was shooting a video for a different song off that album called Parking Lot Pimpin'. I was shooting that Monday. I may give it to me Friday and had to stop the video. So it's difficult to say what the album would be um, or what will be on there. You know, so I'll tell you some favorites and it probably won't be on it because I usually try to make an, uh, um, one single unit, like a piece. So sometimes some records are better than others. You know, and it won't make it just because it doesn't fit the album. Um, you know, you know, that's a very long-winded answer, but to get back to the original question, I guess my favorites would be, um, I hope they make the album. You know, a song called Already Home is pretty, um, pretty strong and forever.